Hi, I'm Bobby, and welcome to Dustfield Movies. During the last Academy Awards, several of my friends were saying, you know, Bela Lugosi should have won an Oscar, and Boris Karloff should have won an Oscar. And you know what? Darn right they should have! So with your help, I'm going to do my own Universal Monster Oscars. In this video, I'm going to tell you the categories and the nominees, and I want you to vote. And once I collect all the votes, we're going to do our own Universal Monster Oscar Ceremony. You could vote either by the comments here or by emailing me at dustyoldmovies, then the number one, at gmail.com. I'm going to leave my email address in the description. Or, because I'm going to post this on Facebook too, you could do it in the Facebook comment or by messaging me on Facebook. Now here are the rules. Rule number one. With the voting, the earlier the better, but please try to have it in by that first week of May. Rule number two. If you disagree with my nominations, you're more than welcome to do a write-in vote. And rule number three, if you don't have an opinion on every category, you don't have to vote in every single category. Just vote in the ones you want. Okay, now on with the categories and the nominees. For Best Monster Actor, there's Bela Lugosi as Dracula. Boris Karloff as the monster in The Bride of Frankenstein. Lon Chaney as the Phantom in The Phantom of the Opera. Lon Chaney Jr. is Larry Talbot, a.k.a. The Wolfman, and Claude Rains as The Invisible Man. For Best Actress, there's Gloria Holden as Countess Alaska in Dracula's Daughter, Marilyn Harris as Little Maria in Frankenstein, Elsa Lanchester in the dual role of both The Bride and as Mary Shelley in The Bride of Frankenstein, Maria Ubskinskaya as Maliva the Gypsy in The Wolfman, and Zita Johan is Helen and Princess Anaximam in The Mummy. For Best Actor in a Human Role, there is Colin Clive as Dr. Henry Frankenstein in Frankenstein, Dwight Fry is a Ranfield in Dracula, Bela Lugosi is Igor in Son of Frankenstein, Claude Rains is Sir John Talbot in The Wolfman, and Ernest Sessinger is Dr. Pretorius in The Bride of Frankenstein. For Best Comedy Relief Performance, there's Bud Abbott and Luke Costello as Chick Young in Wilbur Gray in Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. Una O'Connor is Minnie in The Bride of Frankenstein. The team of Dick Foran and Wallace Gray as Steve Banning and Babe Jensen in The Mummy's Hand. Ernest Sessinger and Eva Moore as Horace and Rebecca Femme in The Old Dark House, and Nestor Pavia as Lucas in The Creature from the Black Lagoon. For Best Picture, there's Frankenstein, Dracula, The Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Bride of Frankenstein, The Wolfman, The Invisible Man, The Mummy, The Black Cat, Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, and the son of Frankenstein. For best makeup, there's Lon Chaney's own self-done makeup for the Phantom of the Opera, Jack Pierce's makeup for the Mummy, Jack Pierce's monster makeup for Frankenstein, Bud Westmore and his team's makeup for the Creature from the Black Lagoon, and Bela Lugosi's own self-done makeup for Dracula. For the scariest scene, there's when Bela Lugosi skins Boris Karloff alive in The Black Cat. When the mummy first wakes up in The Mummy. When the creature kills the natives in The Creature from the Black Lagoon. When two grave robbers are killed by the Wolfman in Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman. And Dr. Edelman's carriage ride in House of Dracula. For the best set, there is the recreation of the Paris Opera House in The Phantom of the Opera, Dracula's Castle in Dracula, Dr. Frankenstein's Laboratory in Frankenstein, the forest set in The Wolfman, and Boris Karloff's house in The Black Cat. For best music score, there is the Phantom of the Opera remake by Edward Ward, The Wolfman by Uncredited, a.k.a. Frank Skinner, Han J. Salter, and Charles Preven, The Bride of Frankenstein by Franz Waxman, Dracula's Daughter by Uncredited, a.k.a. Hans Romheld, and The Creature from the Black Lagoon by Henry Mancini, Hans J. Salter, and Herman Stein. 
for greatest line, there's Listen to them, children of the night, what music they make, from Dracula. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive, from Frankenstein. To a new world of gods and monsters, from the Bride of Frankenstein. Even a man who is pure of heart and says his prayers by night may become a wolf when the wolfbane blooms and the autumn moon is bright, from the wolf man. And Ranfield's laughing, <laughs> from Dracula. For most atmospheric, the mummy, the wolf man, the creature from the black lagoon, the black cat, and the raven. For the grooviest group of villagers, the Transylvanian villagers in Dracula. The Barflies in The Invisible Man. The Villagers in Frankenstein. The Villagers in The Bride of Frankenstein. And the Sometimes Singing Villagers in Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman. For coolest special effect, there's the Mist to Man transformations in Son of Dracula. The Werewolf transformations in Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman. The Invisibility effects in The Invisible Man. The Little People in the Bottles in The Bride of Frankenstein, and The Man to Animated Bat Transformations in Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. For Best Monster Death Scene, when the monster blows everybody up in The Bride of Frankenstein, when Jack Griffin becomes visible again and dies in The Invisible Man, when the monster and the wolfman have their monster battle and then the castle floods and Frankenstein meets the wolfman, when the creature is gunned down in Revenge of the Creature, and when the Wolfman grabs Dracula when he's in bat form, and they both fall into the water in Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. Alrighty. Well, I want to thank you all in advance for participating, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think.